The CF Moto 675 SRR is built to take on the Triumph Daytona 660. Some folks even say the CF Moto is closer to what Triumph should have aimed for, a less watered down bike that's more true to the original Daytona, even more so than the new Daytona 660 itself. In this video, we'll be comparing the two to find out. When it comes to power, these two bikes are pretty evenly mapped. They both put out 70 kilowatts or 95 metric horsepower, but the CF Moto hits its peak 1000 RPM earlier than the Triumph. Torque-wise, the CF Moto has a slight edge with one extra newton meter. On the scales, the CF Moto takes the win, coming in at 195 kilograms, six kilograms lighter than the Daytona. This weight difference gives the CF Moto a small edge in the power to weight ratio department, about 2% more than the Triumph. The 675 SRR seems built to compete directly with the Daytona 660. Not only do they have similar power outputs, but they also feature a similar engine layout. Both bikes are powered by a liquid-cooled, inline-3 engine with a conventional 120-degree crank and a double overhead cam with four valves per cylinder for the valve train. The Daytona's engine is derived from the Trident 660, which has a 660cc displacement. Meanwhile, the 675 SRR uses the engine design from the 450 SR, likely adding a third cylinder to the parallel twin, increasing the capacity from 449.5 cc to 674 cc. This means the combustion chamber design could also be borrowed from 450 SR, and possibly even components like the pistons and valves too, to keep costs down. The compression ratio for the CF Moto is still unknown, but judging from the 450 SR from which its engine is derived, it probably has a compression ratio around 11 to 1. As for fuel capacity, the CF Moto can hold a liter more than the Triumph. Then in terms of transmission, power is sent to the rear wheel through a six-speed wet clutch transmission with an assist and slipper feature. Chinese bikes usually shine at offering high-end features at budget prices, and the CF Moto 675 SRR appears ready to continue this trend. Both bikes come with ABS brakes and traction control, but the CF Moto lacks the ride-by-wire system. However, a quick shifter is standard on the CF Moto, but optional for the Daytona. The Daytona features a white on black LCD for the top half and a small color TFT panel below, but unfortunately, it does not display which of the three riding modes is currently selected while riding. In contrast, the CF Moto is equipped with a 5 inch full TFT configurable display that includes a lap timer and shift indicator. Additionally, it comes standard with a multimedia system, whereas for the Triumph, this is an optional extra. Chassis-wise, both bikes have some things in common. They both use a tubular perimeter frame, so no traditional twin spar frame here. The Daytona uses high tensile steel, while the CF Moto goes a bit more premium with chromoly steel, probably thanks to their partnership with KTM. For front suspension, both bikes have a 41mm upside-down fork, but the CF Moto steps it up with a fully adjustable fork, which comes in handy on track days. At the rear, the Daytona's monoshock can only be adjusted for preload, while the CF Moto offers both preload and rebound adjustments. For stopping power, both bikes come with dual four-piston radial calipers from J1, though Triumph replaced the J1 branding with their own logo. Additionally, the Daytona boasts slightly larger discs compared to the CF Moto. The tire sizes for both bikes are identical and they also share a similar seat height of 810 millimeters. Both offer an accessory seat height option as well. The 675 SRR has a slightly shorter wheelbase than the Daytona, and on top of that its rake angle is also a bit steeper, which promotes quicker steering. So, is the CF Moto 675 SRR what Triumph should have made? Both the Daytona 660 and 675 SRR have similar power output, but the CF Moto boasts a lighter weight, which gives it a better power to weight ratio. In terms of features, the CF Moto lacks ride by wire, but makes up for it with upshift quick shifter, full TFT dash with lap timer, and a multimedia system as standard. Chassis wise, the CF Moto shines with a lighter and stiffer chromoly frame, a fully adjustable fork, and a shock with rebound adjustment, while the Daytona 660 only offers minimal adjustments. When it comes to dimensions, the 675 SRR has a shorter wheelbase, a steeper rake, and a more aggressive riding position, with lower clip-on bars positioned under the triple clamp, unlike the Daytona 660. With all that being said, the CF Moto 675 SRR is definitely more track-focused and closer to the original Daytona than the Daytona 660, but it's not a huge leap. 
When you stack it up against the OG Daytona 675, the CF Moto is still way more tamed and watered down, built to be more versatile, affordable, and way less racy than the Daytona 675.